Watch, a platform that brought many memories to many people with animations, robust features and websites, and games. In today's episode, we'll be looking at iconic Flash games that had kids turning to their friends in the computer labs and asking them, you got game? everybody with X and or Y chromosomes and welcome to another episode of You Got Game, the only show that will look up the lore for the Frogger universe. I'm your host Ryan Kreft and our two players today are Raven Knippel, SSJ, Rayman for Prez and Will Shader, also known as Chris McLean. How are you guys doing today? Uh, Chris is doing really well. And <laughs> Raven's living the dream. All right, that sounds great. So you got you guys uh, excited to get to know a little bit more about flash games? Um, I was not aware it was a flash game trivia, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> I am so nervous right now. <laughs> A, li a little behind the scenes, I always kind of like hide the theme from the contestants until we do the intro. And me personally, I love just seeing everyone's faces go, what's going on? <laughs> as, as I reveal the, the uh, theme for today. So let's just re lay down the rules for a second. I will ask you guys a series of questions relating to Flash games. And when I tell you to go, and only after I say go, you will buzz in and try to answer that question. You will be given answers so that you'll have an idea of what to guess. If you answer incorrectly, if you answer correctly, my bad, you gain a point. Guess wrong, however, and your opponent will have a better chance to score. All questions are worth one point, except for the epic final question, which is worth two points. The loser at the end of the game will unfortunately be deemed a fake gamer, but they can shed that status by participating in a redemption challenge, which we will reveal later on in the show. With all that out of the way, are you guys ready to get started? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. All right, here we go. On to question one. The world of Flash is very versatile, being able to simulate many great games using the engines and resources available. One game that was very well simulated was a popular game that was originally developed by Valve. My question to you is, what is that game? Is it A, Half-Life, B, Team Fortress, or C, Portal? Go! Uh, I'm going to go with Half-Life. Very interesting. But unfortunately, that is incorrect. <laughs> Will, do you have an idea of what game it could be? It's Team Fortress. It's Team Fortress. Very confident <laughs> in that answer. Unfortunately, that is also incorrect. What? <laughs> Those games... <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about Team Fortress, but Half-Life was... You know what? I should not reveal the answer. We're going to spin the wheel and decide who gets to answer the question. Hopefully they remembered what they answered before, because I'm sure not going to tell them. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, there's only there's only one more, and it's Portal. That so. is correct. Portal was the definitive Flash what? game made from the Valve games. You guys, you guys seem very, you guys seem very knowledgeable about Valve games. Uh, I just swore it was Half Life. <laughs> I just I know that Team Fortress started out as a mod for something else, oh, and that's all I knew. Well, yeah, the, the key to this answer was that which one of these games was made in Flash and was made like with the original properties in mind. The Portal Flash game was a very, very close recreation to Portal, albeit it was 2D. There are a couple Half-Life Flash games, but those are just like point and click and you don't move at all. So it kind of sucks. <laughs> It's going to be rough. My knowledge. <laughs> right. So, Will, you got that first question correct. Raven, you think you can catch up after that? Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> All right, we'll find out. Moving on to question two. This character stars in their own game series where they jump around, where they run around, jump on spiders, and look super awesome in their iconic orange pants and mohawk haircut. My question to you is, who is this character? Is it A, gaudy trousers dude, B, fancy pants man, or C, sweet slacks guy? Go! Oh, fancy pants man. Very swift answer. Which is correct! It is fancy pants man. Very well known character throughout the Flash game series. You seem to know that one pretty well. Yeah, I played, I, I, did, I did 
play my fair share of fancy pants adventures in middle school, so. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very, very fun series. Very iconic, if you would say. So, when we're, go we're going into our first commercial break, Will is ahead by two. Will Raven be able to get his comeback? Stick around, and we'll be back. <laughs> UW-Stevens Point is home. It's a university where professors know your name and get you involved in research. They inspire us to realize big dreams. At UW-Stevens Point, sustainability is what we stand for. Our beautiful campus encourages exploration, developing new fields, and problem solving for the real world. It's a great place to launch your career. UW-Stevens Point is home. Apply today at uwsp.edu. Welcome back to You Got Game! When we left off, Will was ahead by two, Raven trailing behind. How are you feeling about that right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I have a pretty good competitive edge. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite of that. I'm absolutely terrified about what this redemption challenge is going to be. I'm already mentally preparing for that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to put you through that, but we've got to keep going to our next question. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> We are ready for question three. The Henry Stickman series involves many flash games centered around Henry Stickman. Debuting in Infiltrating the Airship, this fan favorite character is always known to have the greatest plans. My question to you is, who is this character? Is it A, Reginald Copperbottom, B, Sven Svensson, or C, Charles Calvin? Go! That was a little early, Will. Yeah, it was a little early, early, Will. I'll give I'll give it to you. <laughs> Raven, do you have oh, an idea of what it could be? I can't remember the name of the first one. <laughs> oh, I, I know the them. answer, so I'll give it to Raven. I can repeat them. Yeah, can you please repeat the option? A. Reginald Copperbottom. B. Sven Svensson. Or C. Charles Calvin. This is it. Um, <laughs> I'm. Oh. I'm gonna go with Sv Sven Svensson. Sven Svensson, is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, it's the only one I can remember. <laughs> All right, that, unfortunately, is incorrect. Will, we'll pass it off to you. It's, it's Charles Calvin. It's Charles, Charles Calvin. Calvin. Very. Do you believe that answer? I do believe that answer. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> very, very confident. But that is correct. It is Charles Calvin. He was always known for, he was always known for his greatest plans, which unfortunately involved him crashing headfirst into opposing enemy territories with his helicopter, yes, which always produced really plan. funny results. <laughs> I, have, I have that game. I bought the Steam um, collection of it. Yes. Um, so I, and I played it all not that long ago, so. Oh, I'm dang. more of a console gamer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems that we have stepped into Raven's uncomfortable territory. Unfortunately, though, we have to move on to question four. Are you all ready for that? I'm very ready. All right. If, if Raven doesn't get this, there is really no hope of a comeback, unfortunately. Here we go. The Papa's series of games had players run one of Papa's many different food restaurants, always with the suffix area after them. Kind of a dumb naming convention, if you ask me. Which of the following of these games does not exist. Is it A, Papa's Scooperia, B, Papa's Hot Dogeria, or C, Papa's Candyeria? Go! Raven, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Hot Dogeria. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my final answer. All right. Unfortunately, that is, that is incorrect. Will, do you have an idea of what it could be? I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm going to have to go, can you read the options again? We have Papa's Scooperia, Papa's Hot Dogeria, and Papa's Candyria. I'm, I'm going to go with Papa's Candyria. Is that your final answer? I, I think it's going to have to be my final answer. All right. That is correct. It is Papa's <laughs> Candyria. And with that in mind, unfortunately, Raven, you cannot, you, mathematically, you cannot win this. And... That is a bit of a shame, but we will approach our final question just for the fun of it to gain a little bit more knowledge of current Flash games and all that. <laughs> Not that Flash is a live thing right now, but it's the next best thing. So when we get back, we'll reveal our redemption challenge. 
and see if Raven can stomach what it is. <laughs> Quiet on set. We'll be back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take Ben. Live at SPTV, mic check, audio check, news directors adjusting the sound, teleprompter running smoothly, floor director alert. Cameras are rolling, bring in the talent. Where's the makeup artist? Anchor is ready for the news. Are you ready to join SPTV? That's a wrap, lights out. Welcome back to You Got Game. So now, today we've been talking on and on about Flash games and how great some of those games were. But it should, however, be noted that not all games were the best of quality since, you know, anybody in the world can make them. With that in mind, we have a message from our sponsor, Gamer Fluid. Are you feeling down on your gamer energy? Then you need to pick up a bottle of Gamer Fluid. Each pack comes with a 50-50 chance of ingesting a mix of our berry flavored goodness with the beefy taste of ramen flavor packets. The stress of taking the wrong bottle will enhance your gaming prowess while also rehydrating your electrophosphonucleides. Gamer Fluid, be epic and drink your fluids. Now, unfortunately for our redemption challenge today, one, uh, we will be taking a sort of roulette style approach to drinking our gamer fluid, where the loser will choose one bottle and uh, I will take the other one, and we'll both just down the bottle and see what the results are. <laughs> Does that sound all right to you? I'm sorry, I have to ask this to Raven because there's no way he can win at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds absolutely lovely. I'm super excited. All right, so, uh, so with that in mind, are you guys ready for our epic final question? I, 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 I am ready. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very fatalistic approach. Here we go. While it is technically not a Flash game per se, Friday Night Funkin' evokes all of the feelings of the old Flash games by being hosted on Newgrounds and having several creators on the platform come together and make the game. The game itself follows the main character who is trying to defend his girlfriend from multiple different threats. Now interestingly enough, the girlfriend is not listed as the species of human. She's listed as a different species. My question to you is, what is her listed species? Is it A, demon, B, succubus, or C, siren? Go! Raven, what do you got? I'm gonna go with uh, succubus. Interesting. Is that your final answer? Yep. All right. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to do this. Will, what do you think it is? Oh, it was the other options were demon or. It is A, demon, B, succubus, or C, siren. Friday Night fun Funkin. I still think it's succubus. You should answer that. If <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. If it helps at all, the game is a rhythm game where you have to like DDR your way through songs. Siren. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I had to. I had to. I just want to do one more wheel spin for this show. <laughs> Am I gonna sweep you, Raven? Yeah, you're gonna sweep me. Fifty-fifty chance. I, I couldn't. Re that that was a little bad on my part. Yes! No! Raven, what do you think the answer is? I'm going to go with uh, Demon. Demon is correct. That is correct. You got yourself two points, preventing a shutout. Now, as a little bit of a caveat to today's redemption challenge, I personally feel a little bad of what you had to go through, so I'm going to give you one last chance to avoid uh, doing the redemption challenge itself. You can shed your fake gamer status if you can answer this next question freeform. I won't give you any, any answers to it, but you will get a shot to do it without having to go through the rigmarole. Do you want to take that chance? Uh, sure, let's do it. All right, here we go. The bonus redemption question. The world, in, it is a staple of online flash games. This simple game had players navigate a red square through a maze of dangerous blue dots to make it to a safe green area. Now my question to you is, what is this game's title? That is a freeform question. What do you think it is? Uh, uh, red 
block in green squares. Oh no, <laughs> blue stuff, part safe space. Oh no. If you don't know, I just hazard a guess. I'm going to go works. with uh, that cool math game. That's not the answer, but I'm going to go with blocks. <laughs> <laughs> blocks. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The title we are looking for is World's Hardest Game. That's the series where it's just a very simple maze like the game where you just navigate a red square to get secrets and get the, to the end. So we have ourselves two pristine bottles of gamer fluid. Now, Raven, I just have a quick question to ask you. Do you prefer number one or number two? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm sorry. Let's go, with, no, let's go with number one. <laughs> number one, all right. Here we go. <laughs> I am, again, sorry to have to do this, but it is part of the rules. <laughs> you can uncap, like uncap that it whenever it you, you want. That's pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like me to uncap it for you, sir? No. Let us, let us down ourselves a nice, clean bottle of gamer fluid. On three, are you ready to do you this? the whole thing? Or just not the whole thing. Or before just you vomit? As much as you're willing to tolerate, which could be just a sip. I'm not trying to kill people. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. On three, ready to do this? Let's do it. You've been a great gamer so far today. Let's, let's shed that fake gamer status. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you got the bad one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Drinking the whole bottle of Gatorade. <laughs> oh, that's so gross! <laughs> yeah, it was so gross. Mm, yeah, it's so bad. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. That's rancid. That is just pure rancid right there. It's just like the beefy texture of the beef ramen noodles. And then, 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 then the, the, it punches you with the Gatorade that's supposed to taste good, but it doesn't. I don't feel like a gamer right now. Raven, how, how are you feeling right now? I feel like my thirst is quenched and <laughs> I can redeem myself, hopefully at a later date. <laughs> that is true. You have redeemed. <coughs> you have. Redeemed yourself, we are all gamers here. Will, you are today's true gamer and winner of today. Thank you all, thank you guys for playing. Thank you for being such good sports. <laughs> and thank you, lovely SBTV viewers, for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode and have some gaming knowledge of your own, hit like and comment down below, and we'll make them into questions for the show. Subscribe to SB, <coughs> subscribe to SBTV to stay up to date on our shows, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs>